So this one's pretty easy. Construct a square inscribed in a circle. Uh, in class, we had to draw circles, but this time circles already drawn for us. So we start with our diameter. So I'll draw in my diameter. I'll do it in red. There we go. That gives me two points there and there. And I'm going to bisect that diameter. So let's see. Bisecting that diameter. Remember to go a little more than halfway. Make sure you're more than halfway. And there's the staple getting in the way again. I don't even need that middle piece there. Hopefully. There we go. Got my intersections here. So I bisect that. And that gives me two more points here and there. And now I connect those points and I'll have my square. So square, very easy. Okay. Yes, it's a square, not a diamond. Remember, there's no such thing as a diamond. Okay. And we'll do the same thing on the next one. Tell, tell you what, I'm going to use the other compass this time just so we can see how to do it with a different type of compass. So same idea, using my straight edge to draw my, my uh, diameter. And put that and that. And now with my compass, I'm going to set up at the end point more than halfway. And I'm going to do an arc. And one on the other side as well. End point. There's my arc. And I'm going to connect those to get my my bisector. And again, I got two more points here and there. And we connect the square. Now, if you didn't want your square to be angled like this, just connect your di diameter differently. Okay? Don't make your diameter a horizontal. Make your diameter like a 45 degree angle. And then your square might actually show up looking more like a squared would generally sit. Okay? So there's the squares. Let's take a look at another problem then. Use a compass and straight edge. Construct a line perpendicular to line L through point. That should say P. I don't know why it says B. So we're going to go through this point perpendicular. Now we're not bisecting. Okay, so i got to set up my compass, center at my point, and I'm going to draw my first arc. I like doing these in red. There we go. I just barely crossed the line. I hate the fact that it went through there, but I do create a point here and a point there. So now I'm going to set up at those points. Get a line there. Another arc over here. And there we go. Here's my perpendicular through P perpendicular to my line. Okay, uh, we'll do the same thing with this one. Same idea. I need to create an arc through T. You know what, let's do it on the, yeah, let's do it on the side, why not? Create an arc through T. So that's gonna be here and there. That gives me two points. Now remember in class we said with this one, if I do the same measurement, I'm gonna get really close to this point. So I'm going to take my compass and stretch it out some to get a bigger measurement. I'm going to go from here. I'm going to do a mark out there. I'm going to do a mark out there. And there we go. Now I can connect from here to T. And it doesn't matter how far away your point is, but we do want to be further away so that it doesn't run into it. Okay? Take a look at the next problem then.